He's like probably thinking, you know, I got this. I'll be fine. But Yosher, I'm telling you right now, this, this, this man is on the come up. He plays Wolf, and yeah. I'm telling you, for me, this man gets it with Wolf. Yeah. It's, he's one of, the, one of the few Wolves who does, who does the crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. He does the crazy stuff. The crazy he, knows, stuff. he knows what's up. Yeah, Yosher knows his stuff. It's going to be very exciting to, to watch this. Gunner versus the Wolf. MM Leo versus X Yosher. The Wolf on the come up versus the main character of SoCal. Getting into game one. Let's see how they're going to do it. And for those who don't know, MM Leo is the Force Adrenaline Rush man. <laughs> he innovated it. He invented it. He pioneered it. So we're, we're seeing right off the bat opting to use Bomb Drop and um, the laser. It makes a lot of sense to me using the Bomb Drop to um, limit Wolf's burst option range on the ground and then um, using laser to call out jumps or bait out jumps. So. That Bomb Drop is incredibly pesky to deal with. You can yeah. hit it back to him, but if you're too close, the explosion will hit you. You just have to time your air. You just have to space your move well. If you don't space wow. it well enough, like your hitbox, if your hurtbox extends into it, it'll like blow you up. How, how would you approach uh, someone like MM Leo? With I just, I hit his bomb, play patient, anti-air him, uh, mess him up up close and read his defensive options. Wow, bomb drop into a grab. This is a, oh, and using the hit and missile. Yeah, he's just yeah. ready to play you, his projectile You can't game. shield that move. You shield that move, you get grabbed. Yeah. That move is like, it's, it's insane on shield. Wow, what a... Yeah. yeah, using the bomb to cover the ledge and then up smash yeah. to cover everything else. And the same trap working out and MM Leo with a really dominant first stock. This is a lot. Honestly, this is MM Leo's games go one of two ways. He three stocks his opponent or like it's a close game. Yeah. But I, I've seen him three stock a lot of people just because like they're they're just not ready. <laughs> they're not ready. Yeah. Yosha had the right idea trying to forward air the bomb there, but uh, a little bit off the mark. If he spaces that well, he can Whoa. knock it back. This is crazy usage of his projectiles to get uh, combos. Yeah. He just has to be very patient and space around the projectiles. And MM Leo, of course, is going to keep up the, the pressure. Yeah, from far away, just building up that damage. I wouldn't reflect that, honestly. Yeah, I don't think it would <laughs> be very, very advantageous. It's, you kind of can, just not in a spot like that. Oh, no, the side B you can't even covering see the ledge. Side B, yeah, that's ridiculous. You can't even see it. <laughs> oh, the move. bomb drop. Wow, that's such a great ledge trapping option. But what's great about Wolf is his air drift really allows him to maneuver around these projectiles. This is well. ridiculous. You just, have to be, you just have to be more like you have to be more confident with your mm -hmm. air drift. Yo, uh, Yoshi isn't playing as confident um, with his air drift as he should in a matchup like this, or as he can in a matchup like this. Excuse me. Um, this is this is yeah. crazy. You weren't kidding about the no. He he patience. he's yeah. he is uh, Mr. Camp, which yeah. is fine. That's great. Do, no, do, you do you have you a game do. plan. You got to do, do it. Do, yeah. Hell yeah. I respect it. This is oh he okay. I'm right. Leo feeling a little bit bad for Yosha gonna give up that stock. <laughs> like, but this is Rage Wolf. Oh, that thing is huge. That's a massive <laughs> that up thing smash. Is huge. Yeah. I mean, he was able to cover like what three get up yeah. options with the up smash. That thing bomb. is really big at a shield. Yeah. So is their grab. That thing is really. I always forget how big that is until I see it. But very good awareness from MM Leo, and now Yosha knows that thing is huge. He's like, okay, I have to be more aware of that. What a good landing up air. Tried to get the tech chase on the platform with the nair. He actually could have done nair into falling fair bear there, and I know Yosha goes for that. Um, wow. He just mistimed the nair a little bit. Yoshi's going for a little bit. He's going for hard reads a little bit too often at the ledge here. So a lot of the time, uh, MM Leo is like finding his way off the ledge just because Yoshi's going for the all or nothing. Um, at least he's not getting a reversal for it, but he is dropping his pressure. If he was, if he maybe if he tried playing a little bit more consistent in a spot like this. Yeah. The, wow. It's if you land into that, you have to drift away. It's very. It's, it's that move is very. It's a pass to deal with. No, that move is, that's such a great option. I yeah. mean, I, I, have, I hardly see me Gunners use that, to be honest, but that's great. Yeah. Nice bait on the short hop there. Baited the shield. Able to get the grab off, but gets him off stage. And that's yeah. another one of the bomb drop. And You, um, like, can't get up into how, that. How do you, how I'll, do you beat that? You can ledge, in that spot, you could have ledge jumped, and if it hits you, you're not going to die. You want to um, get hit with the bomb, not the up smash. You'd rather get hit yeah. by the bomb and not the up smash. You, you, ideally, you go through both. If you grab ledge in time to where he's doing it as you're on the ledge, you have time to get up um, while he's still in the animation of it. Mm -hmm. It's literally all just how you time it. How you, you have, time it? You have to be very conscious of how you like the timing of your get up and like when he's in lag and when he isn't in lag. The problem with with poor Yosher is that in that spot, uh, he did that get up twice basically. Yeah. So the first stock he lost his get up to. Up B, delayed neutral get up, and this time he did up B, delayed neutral get up at the same timing, and it just, it just got hit for it. Yeah. yeah, it's rough in a spot like that, but when MM Leo commits to the up smash, you can like like if you jump, you're okay. You're not gonna get hit by it normally, um, unless you like unless the bomb knocks you into it. it, I, it I'm not saying jump every time. You can't jump every time. You have to. Li you literally just have to like. It's a case timing. by case, case yeah. by case basis. There's never a best option. 
you I have to like know in the moment. I don't know how I feel about this. Would you? Wouldn't you not want the Mi Gunner to have more space? So you'd think that, right? Like uh -huh. in, in in that's usually like the general consensus. But in this, like think about Wolf's air drift. Yeah. Zigzagging all over the place, he has a lot more room to approach uh, approach from this far away. Mm. Like he, Wolf has more room to wind up with his drift ins. There it is, also, swatting the bomb out of the Also, air. it's easier to juggle them on this stage. Yeah, yeah. Ju like you want to juggle the, the hell out of them. And Yosher is spacing his nair very well on that uh, the pesky. I don't know what that's called. The down B, I believe. Bomb drop, I think. Bomb drop, yes. Jump, jump. Oh, jump. just getting, just opting to get hit with now, it. Now, now, when it's that close, you actually can't jump. Okay. And he's DIing it away. Very good stuff. Ooh, this is scary. Yeah. MM Leo has really interesting lead shots with the projectiles. Yep. It's very effective. Yeah. As you can see. Good punish on the bomb drop. Excellent spacing on the yeah. outside. Little Yosher has already adapted a lot better this game. Yeah, he's uh, using his Nair to um, to beat out the, the bomb drop yeah. in the air and then using four tilt when it's already on the ground. Yep, sending it back to him. You can down tilt it too. Oh, that Yosher's does a lot of shield damage. Doing an excellent Nair. He's, he's playing it a lot safer now. Good spacing with that back air. Yeah. Yep. Now he's trying to be a lot more reactive with the ledge shoot. Missed the ledge trap or kill, but it's... Oh, oh no. That wasn't yeah. a good guess. I think he was not, predicting not a laser. laser. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think, be I think because uh, what it's, it's MM okay. Leo does, he likes to use the neutral B there, and then I guess yes. he was trying to trade. But yeah, uh, Fair enough. It yeah. just, Leo just... He read the laser there, got him. Very yeah. good play. Yeah, good play. Okay. So that up B actually has very low lag on the ground. Um, you have to be very quick to punish. Ooh. Ooh. Tried to read the shield. Giant up smash once again coming in clutch for MM Leo there. Uh, good use of the double jump to get out of the drag down combo. Oh, not kind of running into the bomb a little bit. Now he's spacing himself around it. See, when you're in a spot like this, when you're down a lot by a zone, you have to remember that you can still bring it back. Like you, yeah. you, can, you still don't. Being down is not an excuse to stop playing consistently. Yeah, you have to. You have to yeah. maintain your game plan. Or... A lot of people struggle to maintain that, and then. And even high-level players fall into it, but they're able to snap themselves out of it. And right now, I think Yosher is starting to snap himself out of it a little bit. Yep, going for uh, a reactive ledge trap once again. Dash under the fair, and is able to get the dash trap onto, Leo, uh, onto MM Leo's landing. I like that much better than his previous attempt with the forward smash. Yes, uh, the forward smash is good. Just you have to condition it. Yeah. If you go for it, if you go for it right away, it's very and not like, and you do it super early too. It's very easy for your opponent to to work around it. And Yosher knows this, so he's not, so he, he adapted. But uh, MM Leo calling out the air dodge, drift away with a dash attack, and yeah, in a spot like that where you air dodge early, what a bait! Yeah, that was a shield really grab. great back air. Yeah, that's classic Wolf using your double jump drift to bait a uh, shield grabber and add a shield option from your opponent and getting the punish. Yosher's playing this a lot more consistent now, but Leo, of course, is keeping up the pressure, kind of suffocating him a little wow. bit. Dash a little bit too close, but got the grab that he needed. That 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 like miss space like approach was a blessing in disguise in that spot because he was able to get the shield grab off. Oh, uh, so she doesn't take damage from her own explosives? N and no, you have to like. Until I think, it's hit I think, back to I think her, maybe right? if you hit it back to. Her. Yeah, I think so too. The spot dodge read. What a read from Yosher. Tried to read the double jump there too. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. another one of those trades exact, you don't want to be. The, the exact moment, like this exact thing we saw last game. Yeah, I would have thrown more than the bomb, but like, that also works. Good. Yep. Good patience, just holding shield against the bear there. Doesn't want to die to it. Yep. Yep. Just be patient. You don't have to force an approach. And Leo, of course, recognized that he's being patient. So he oh, goes for, no. Yeah, goes Calling out the B. empty hop and getting the side B. He um. dropped the bomb, saw that he tried to hit him out of the bomb, so he's like, oh, you want to...